is this? 1936 Chev, I believe. These folks are down in Victoria, but they're traveling up to Darwin and then heading um, via Queensland back. It's pretty awesome. Good on them. What a ripper. I've just whipped into Marla and um, getting some fuel and Jude's getting some hot chips, coffee. Real busy place. Oh, I think Marla is the like the gateway to the Unadada and uh, from last reports it has been closed for a couple of days but it should be open by now I think. Um, oh, it's just missed. Well I did video it. But how's that? Beautiful little old caravan there. And then an RX4 Mazda Rotary turns up as well so uh, a real busy spot and people from all walks of life. Just incredible. So uh, we've got ourselves some fuel. Jude is following up behind with some chippies and we're on our way to our next little rest stop. Hey, it's a big afternoon from a new spot. The spot is close to transport. You will hear a truck go by very, very soon and you might hear all the flies going by <laughs> right now. It is thick. That uh, rainy weather brings on them flies once it finishes, I tell you. So today, it's about 140 odd clicks. Um, I think it included about a, a 65 odd kilometer to Marla, where we uh, filled up with some fuel. Got a little video of a cute little car that was uh, pulled up towing a, a caravan. Awesome. Hopefully Jude will pop that in in some time, if not already. Um, and then we drove another 70 odd case from Marla down to this little spot. Now, here comes my truck. Now I drove down that road. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Looks nice. Straight off the uh, main highway there, down this road, and got about three quarters of the way down and saw this. This big U-turn into a bog and more down the side here. I thought, uh-oh, what have I done? I'm gonna have to reverse back out onto the highway. Anyway, uh, I got out, got the radio, and I went for a little walk around, and holy moly, it doesn't take long to dry out. It's actually quite good, it's hard as concrete. So um, I drove, uh, I didn't, I walked in front of uh, the van with the walkie-talkie and just told Jude this way, this way, this way. And we managed to snag, I don't know whether you just saw it there, a great little spot over in the corner there. It's nice. So uh, should do the trick tonight. Now, call me a bugger for punishment. Uh, last night at, um, oh, what was it, Taku, Taku Nini, something, it was a good spot, um, I keep raving about gravel spots, how they're, they're great, they're nice and level, guaranteed not to be boggy like this one, um, but there is one reason the gravel spot's called a gravel spot, and that's because when they're doing roadworks and servicing around here, they use those stockpiles and fill them up at regular basis. And um, there was some warning on Wikicamp, so I was fully prepared. That's why I didn't park too close to the to the humps that looked like they were being refreshed. Anyway, yeah, I think two or three trucks came in last night um, at all hours. So oh, I sleep like a rock, so it's all good. However, I've gone and done something um, a little bit risque again today. Not only just coming down to this mud bog, but I don't know whether you noticed behind me. That is a railway track. <laughs> <laughs> and you saw where the van was, just parked there. It is called, I came here, I knew damn well, I did my research, it is called the Train Spotters Rest, this one, and uh, for obvious reason, the train comes through here. So yesterday I saw two freight trains, um, one probably not far away and one later in the evening. Um, I don't know whether we'll see the Garn today, but there is a report that maybe tomorrow about 2.30 in the morning it'll go past. So I don't know whether I'll be quick enough for my camera at that time. <laughs> and I might shock a few of the travelers in the cabins going, what, did you just see what was taking a photo out there? <laughs> anyway, it's, it's the reason I'm here is that um, Jude's family were avid um, train followers when we're back in New Zealand. And I know it's still in her blood and she'll go, damn bloody train and blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, I love it. We kept right on the track. So it'll, it'll uh, I'm sure she'll enjoy it. So. Um, We've got um, Starlink set back up again here, absolutely just pumping through, it's awesome. And I've got Jude in there um, doing some more um, YouTubing and things. She's got a time limit though, she's only allowed to do a couple of hours in there and then she's got to come out here and enjoy the flies with me.
Well, we've finally made it to the um, Serbian church here in uh, Kupapiti. I'm just uh, hiding in here at the moment because of the, uh, it's pretty windy today. But uh, we'll tootle over and have a look. And uh, it's tucked away. It's a little bit of a, a tough one to find. And man, you go through some neighborhoods and just see um, oh, how everybody lives here in Kupapiti. It's absolutely fantastic. Some of the houses are beautiful. So uh, we'll go and have a look at the old Serbian church and see what's in here, eh? Wow. Ooh, well, you walk in and you're greeted by this amazing tunnel and a ramp that walks down. Um, it's amazingly cut out. Super nice in here too. It's not hot. Beautiful. So I think the church was consecrated on the 2nd of August 1995 well, the, by the Bishop of Australia slash New Zealand hmm. and then you're greeted by what do you call this this is the chapel itself is it you reckon that's awesome massive big high ceilings and I love it how the the cutouts match the, the window the, the, the lead glass or whatever it is and coincide down that end. It's really neat. There's the uh, red lights. Um, if you go and have a look up there, it's got the baptism. It's in a cross. This little bar. Okay. For baptism. I haven't been upstairs, so you go up that way. Yes. I'll go up that way and have a look. So we've got another little alleyway up here. Oh. Ah, well, I saw the arrow that said go to that door, so I went to that door. Jude came down this one. She cheated. Oh, I'm going up and down this ramp in a hurry. Oh, here we go. Cool, so we're actually standing up on the, the top part. Looking down where we were just earlier. And, oh yeah, cool. Yeah, I don't know whether you can see that, but really neat. Heaps of thought into it. It's amazing. Stunning. I'm really pleased we took this one off. Well worth the trip. Right, the next port of call after the uh, Serbian church, which is pretty staggering, a good place to go and see. You know from previous video, videos, especially when you go to areas like mining and um, construction, you know, the heavy the railways and that, I like to go to some of the cemeteries and of course you get a real feel and a taste of you know some of the, the people that had built the towns and things. So found this little cemetery just off the side of uh, Kupapiti, it's called uh, Boot Hill I think it is, cemetery. And uh, my mission today is to find a, a grave uh, site that was for a local identity called Crocodile Harry. 
I think he died when he was about 81 years old and um, I'm not going to drive out to his place but I've seen some pictures so look it up there, Crocodile Harry's place. He's got a, he's a, oh, <laughs> I don't know what the word is for it, but he nicks and necks and um, nooks and crannies and um, an artiste of some sort. Um, yeah, pretty amazing uh, bloke. He had uh, quite an amazing mind on him and uh, yeah, sadly he's uh, buried out in the grave yard here I believe so we'll go and have a look for him eh? oh the other thing here so sorry you weren't seeing much of the view so yeah here's the the uh, the graveyard it's windy as buggery I've just had to put a flanny on it's uh, got a little bit of a chill factor there now liked it in the Orthodox Church that was nice and warm um, but yeah just to point out the um, probably a, a main part of the uh, power source for Cooperpedia along with a bit of solar um, they've got three big wind mills or wind turbines I should call them there's two over here and there's one over here and uh, today's a good day to be generating power. It's, uh, well that one's not moving too terribly fast but I think that one might be under maintenance. These ones are cranking along. And you can see out in the distance here too, um, that's the, the highway south. And as it winds down south there you can see some of the piles of um, some of the, the, the underground areas where they've been um, digging. Um, so there's a few out over this way here too so yeah pretty good. Uh, vantage point for these poor fellows that aren't with us anymore overlooking fruits of their labor i guess anyway we'll have a look well there you go we found crocodile harry so he died back in uh 2006 it says on there at 81 years old so yeah it's a fascinating walk around um probably one of the most amazing headstones i've seen in a cemetery um, obviously Crocodile Harry uh, has a nice, a pretty basic one here. I'll show you one up here that's pretty neat. There we go. There's one butte headstone. A keg. Have a drink on me. <laughs> Good old soul. Um, but yeah, there's some that have got castles around them and uh, some beautiful um, wrought iron laser cut type ones and things. So yeah, really, uh, well, it's a sad place to visit, but uh, it's nice to see the care on some of the uh, the headstones. They're awesome. Anyway, better get out of this wind before I end up stuck in a windmill, wind turbine somewhere. We'll go and recover in the van. Well, we made it to the Kipiti site. World famous, I tell you. Tell you what's not world famous at the moment is the wind out here, so be prepared. Dude's just taking a photo. Yep, she's done her photo. Time to try and get my door out. Holy moly, have to hang on to it, otherwise she'll take off. Woohoo! How's it going, alright? Yeah. Whoa, Captain Pugwash! <laughs> the Cooper Pee design! Alright, we're leaving an Opal Centre. We have finally done the deed. Go and flash your finger. Oh, we've got the sun on the way there. There we go. Jude's managed to pick herself up a nice Opal souvenir here in Cooper Pee. It has taken some time. <laughs> But uh, listen, I've got to do a little plug. This guy is amazing. Costa's Olympic Opal Centre. It's not much to look at from the outside, as you can see. It's uh, not far from the uh, the IGA and across the road. Uh, well, you can look at the big winch from here. So see the old bloke in here. He'll do yourself a, an absolute amazing deal on an opal. He looked after it very well. Nice bloke. So I uh, thought at least I can do a, put a good plug in for him here. And he's got heaps of range to choose from as well. Anyway, you happy? Yep, very happy. Very Jude's, happy. Love my ring. Jude's very ring. happy, loves her ring. And uh, we're gonna, how about we go up to the big winch and go and have a coffee and enjoy the view. That sounds great. Are you? Yeah? Yep. <laughs> All right, here we are. Having a nice smoothie and you're having a milkshake. Yep. And uh, some, what's left of some wedges at the uh, big winch 360. It's up on the top of the hill overlooking Cooper Pedy. We just thought it was a nice fitting spot for our last, well it's not our last supper, we'll have another <laughs> supper down at the, at the park, but uh, no, it's been a fantastic stay here in Cooper Pedy. there's plenty of things to see and do. No. Yep, absolutely love it here, it's yeah. a nice place. Make sure you stay a few days when you come through Cooper Pedy. and we've done a bit of a share between um, staying at a caravan park um, down at the free camp at Old Timers, 
and uh, that ain't a bad little spot too, but pretty busy. Uh, very busy, and you really need to get in early because um, yep. about you snooze, four, you lose. Clock, <laughs> 4 o'clock, vans are coming in and just basically going back out because there's no space. Yep, yeah. So, and that's just Cooper Petty in general too. It's, it's pretty busy at times there. There's lots of vans moving through. So, yeah, but it's been great. It's been nice to have the, uh, the wind die down a little bit today and the sun come out. So it's been a lovely, uh, a lovely day. Anyway, catch ya. Here we are here, down at the uh, Free RV Park at the Old Timers in Coop and Petey. Um, the Old Timers Mine's just at the top, and you can pop in there and do a tour, and there's a great little shop of uh, bits and pieces in there. It's a lovely spot, and uh, yeah, you can't ask for anything better down here too. It's nice. Um, there's room for probably about 20, depends on how the vans pack in, but I say 20, 25 vans if you're, if you're lucky. Um, and as I say, you've got to be pretty lucky. I mean, we've got um, probably uh, a van and a car all parked beside us. Um, and there's another couple on the far side. So, uh, yeah, great spot. It's uh, just over the hill from, from town, so uh, it's walking distance into town easy. The big winch where we were having um, a wee little bite to eat is just up on the hill there. So there's a donation box um, inside the um, old timers uh, mine there to drop in to say thank you very much for the facilities um, there's no water there's no power you've got to be self-contained so um, the water and your toilet waste and things can be dealt with um, on the main street outside the information center there's a uh, fantastic facilities there you pay for water at the moment the machine's broken so it's on an honesty um, side of things go into the information center there at the moment and oh jesus they said how much do you want and i said oh, probably 100 liters and it was like three bucks it's like yeah cool so um yeah there it is um the old timers rv park here on cooper Petty. and as i say we spent some money over at the caravan park at oasis and we stayed here for another couple of days and uh, spent some money as you know into town as well so you've done well out of us cooper Petty. and on our way out we'll we'll fill up and uh toodle away so there you have it, might get a couple of little sunset pics maybe if you're lucky. Um, thank you. Thank you for following us on our Cooper Petey adventure. It was awesome. It's a great place. Um, there's so much to see, so many nooks and crannies. They say that 60% of Cooper Petey's population is actually underground. And yeah, you can believe it when you drive around. Um, so yeah, just remember to uh, click that like, subscribe and follow button. Remember, it's all free. And if you can't do that, because it won't allow you, it probably means you have to um, sign in as a Gmail account. And honestly, uh, it'll help us big time if, you, if you're a member and uh, on that uh, uh, YouTube side of things. Anyway, tomorrow, all new adventure starts again. We're at a uh, little spot. Um, it's called the Big Aerial. Can't work out why. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's the big aerial. It was easy to find. And, uh, oh, yeah. We were having a fire because there was plenty of little old dead old dry bits of wood around. So it's, uh, it's very, very nice and toasty. It's been a little chill factor. The wind's been out again. But uh, I think we ended up with 21 degrees or something. So, uh, yeah, we're just sitting here by the fire and chillaxing. And, uh, yeah, so we're about 50 k's from where we were yesterday. And then we've got to know another 50 k's to where we're going to go tomorrow, which is Island Lagoon, was where that storm hit just out of uh, Pimba uh, when we're on our way up. So we'd like to go back to there. So we'll have a look at Lake Hart on the way down, stay at Island Lagoon, and that's only 30 k's from Pimba. And then it's about another 10 k's up the road to Woomera, where we've got two days in Bomb Central. <laughs> anyway, bye bye, son. Alright Joe, just in case I rambled on too much, Blake Hart.
It was founded, I suppose, back in 1918 when they found that, geez, it's got a lot of salt in this place. Let's do something about it. Let's harvest it. So they got a crew of about 50 odd blokes together, I believe. And between uh, 1918 and it finished about 1931. And I think it was capable of 300 million tons of salt. Pretty wicked. 61 square miles of surface area. And as you can see today, a little bit of infrastructure, a few railways, and a very big stockpile of salt. Pretty awesome spot for catching some nice sunsets and sunrises. I don't think you're going to get much today, but it's forever changing. Good little spot to come. Lake Heart. Stay up the top there too. Be self-sufficient though. Yes, yeah.